Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials by clicking on the subscribe button and do remember to click on the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. Hey guys, welcome to the channel AOSP Extended based on Android 8.1. That is the ROM we are going to have a look at today. This is basically yet another install and preview. But the device in question here is the Xiaomi Mi A1. So we will go ahead and have a look at the installation process and we will have a look at the first impressions of how good or how stable this particular ROM is. But before we begin, here's a card to the latest giveaway which gives you a chance to win the Redmi Note 5 Pro with an unlocked bootloader once we hit 10,000 subscribers. So if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video at the same time if you like motorbikes you like speed and travel destinations are your thing go ahead and check out my second channel here's a card to that that is Kratos 390 and if you like stuff on there subscribe and stay tuned there as well now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials my name is Kalash let's install AOSP extended for the Xiaomi Mi A1 Alright guys, today we are going to try a different ROM based on Android 8.1 for the Xiaomi Mi A1. The name of the ROM is AOSP Extended. Now this is again a custom ROM. It looks similar to other ROMs. But that is the reason we keep doing these videos so that you can come to know if there is any different process involved in flashing a custom ROM or not. And for the next few days, maybe four or five days, there will be a lot of custom ROMs that will be tried for the Xiaomi Mi A1. Nonetheless, let's begin today's video with all the usual disclaimers. Make sure you've backed up all your data, you have more than 50% battery. And once you've done that, make sure you've downloaded the ROM and you have copied it to the phone's internal memory. Now, after flashing the ROM, usually you would have to flash open Google Apps because you will need Play Store. I will not be flashing Google Apps because I don't need Play Store because immediately after this, I'll be moving to a different ROM. So nonetheless, let's start. Let's go to wipe and wipe to factory reset. After that, go to install, select the ROM file and swipe to confirm flash. Now, as I said, with the Mi A1, this takes anywhere between two to five minutes. So please be patient and wait for the ROM to be flashed. All right, so looks like the ROM has been flashed and we will wipe cache in Dalvik and we will go to reboot system and do not install. Now the first boot will take anywhere between two to three minutes. Uh, what I have noticed is that it takes a little longer to flash ROMs on the Xiaomi Mi A1, but the ROM boots up real, real quick, like within two minutes. But it's always a good practice to wait for up to five minutes if you think your phone is having some problem or the ROM flash didn't go well. Now, talking about AOSP Extended, I have tried this ROM on the OnePlus 5T. I have tried it on the Redmi Note 4. I've also tried it on the Xiaomi Redmi 4A. So it's probably going to be the fourth phone on which I'm going to try it. And yeah, that is the same boot animation. So it looks like they have not updated the boot animation for a while. To be honest with you guys, boot animations are one of the reasons I flash custom ROMs apart from uh, customization options. And there are a lot of custom ROMs which have had amazing, amazing boot animations. Let's wait for the ROM to boot and then we'll quickly have a look at the features of AOSP Extended. All right. Looks like the ROM has booted up and that's a beautiful wallpaper. But before we begin, let's quickly re reduce the brightness somewhat. And uh, yeah, that is the scene with most custom ROMs these days. Uh, AEX paper, is that another wallpaper app? It looks like it. Yep. So that's their own wallpapers and then we have a few other things now apart from this fm radio is there camera is there let's see which camera they are using it's always a good thing to try 10 different custom roms in 10 days now that is what i'm doing with the mi a1 because i have it for a couple of weeks no this is not my phone no i have not purchased it still the redmi note 5 pro is my daily driver and uh, hopefully the oneplus 6 is coming soon in this particular channel as well so the front camera works the rear camera works and this is a snapdragon camera app i believe now let's go to settings and let's go to system and all right so if we go to about phone it says about us our introduction the GIT hub link telegram link they are on telegram as well download center and all the usual things 
change log recent changes status of the phone uh, the IMEI number I really don't want to share that with you guys just kidding there Android 8.1.0 that's your Oreo Easter egg and let's quickly have a look at the customization options we have gestures here swipe fingerprint lift to check your phone is a new and neat addition you have OTA updates available so it says no updates are available and if we go to extensions that is what they call it extensions so you have an option to customize your status bar items clock and date status bar battery style traffic indicators carrier label miscellaneous extensions you have notifications panel now i have to say that uh, compared to the previous rom that i think the one which i shot uh, i recorded a video on was the cardinal osp um, this one is a tad bit different you know the boxy look and uh, the ui itself is a little different which is good and apart from this there is navigation customization you can enable the navigation bar you can customize your recents as always you can customize the lock screen and you can customize animation general tweaks weather buttons and app ops is also there which is a good thing so you get granular control now that is the reason you know i thought to myself that you know for 10 days straight covering custom roms for one particular device what sense does it make when all of them are based on android 8.1 now that is where it makes some sense because all of them have different customization options and from a first look when you look at it for like two to five minutes you come to know how stable and smooth it is and the good thing with custom roms for the xiaomi mi a1 is they are very very high quality i give a big thumbs up to xga developers and all the developers individually working on these particular roms so from my end this rom is great you can just go ahead and maybe throw in a google play store zip there and you should be good to go this is definitely something worth trying for your daily driver double tap to sleep and double tap to wake both are working voice over lt is there your camera works uh, i haven't tested the ir blaster with any of the apps but the fn radio app is there so yeah everything should be good and uh, this is Android 8.1, so you should be able to use Google Camera as well. Well, for now, that is the first look at AOSP Extended for the Xiaomi Mi A1. Let me know in the comments section what did you like and what is it that you would want me to change in this series of install and preview. I would love to hear from you guys so that maybe I can go ahead and make some changes so that the videos are even more interesting. For now, this is Kailash signing off with Smartphone Tutorials. Take care of yourself. Keep smiling. See you in the next one. Goodbye.